I want to show you how to get started with Padre Perl Editor so you can start creating your own Perl programs. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, Start menu. I'm running Windows 7 here. And if you go to the Start menu and All Programs, you should see Dwim Perl. If you expand that, you'll see Padre, your Perl editor. Okay, I'll just fire that up. And there's what it looks like to start. Now, what I am going to suggest, though, is that you create a couple of templates. I'll just shut that one down for a minute. I've created a folder on my desktop called My Pearl, and I think you should do the same. Create this folder on your desktop, and we're going to create in it a couple of templates that we can use to start our Pearl programs. First one is template.pl. I'm just going to open that one with Padre. There it is. And I just want to show you what's in there. This is the shebang line. We have to have that as the first line right up against the left margin in all of our Perl programs. And what it is is a path to the Perl interpreter on your system. It's called the shebang line because it starts with a sharp and an exclamation mark. Another, another name for an exclamation mark is a bang. And so it's a, a sharp and a bang and they decided to call it the shebang uh, line. So this line here has to be the first line in your program and it has to be right up against the left margin. Now you should also put use strict and use warnings in your programs. This will help you to make sure that you don't have any incorrect spellings with your variable names and it will force you to create your variable names properly. For example, if I try just um, dollar lang equals pearl, for example, uh, I get a complaint right away. And uh, I don't know if you can see it down here. I'll just move this up a little bit. Okay, I've got a problem here. I can see I've got something in red. And down here in the syntax check at the bottom, it says dollar lang requires explicit package name. Well, that's because of use strict. So to make this right, what I have to do is I have to insert the my keyword before that variable declaration. And if I press enter, the error message will go away. So you have to declare your variables. Don't have to type them. Perl is a very loosely typed language. There's no types really to speak of. So you do need to put my though whenever you create a variable. In this case, I'm creating a scalar variable a scalar variable called dollar $lang. Okay. And then you could print that out. For example, you could print I like dollar $lang. And you put that inside double quotes and put a uh, semicolon at the end of the line. We should be able to print that out. To run it, you can just click right here. But you got to save it first. I've already saved it, so I'm just going to resave it. No, I don't want to resave it. I don't want to resave it because I don't want to overwrite my template. Okay, so I'll save this with a new name. File, save as, and I'll just call it uh, script, script.pl. You want to use a .pl file name extension. Okay, so I call it script.pl. Now I can run it, now that I've saved it, and it'll run in a command window. I like Perl, press any key to continue. Now it's a little bit ugly that the press any key to continue shows up on the same line. So what you could do, is you could put a backslash in here for a new line, save that change, run it again, and at least you get the press any key to continue on a new line. Looks a little bit better. Okay? So create that template. If I shut this down and try to file open, I should be able to open up my template and I can use that to start all my Perl programs. Now a little bit later we're also going to use that other one that you saw there which was template CGI and as we'll see a CGI file requires a little bit bigger template with some more content in it because we're going to use this to create web pages. Okay so create, create those and have them ready and use them whenever you want to start a new program.